let f of x be the function g of x over h of x. Let's say we know the derivative g prime of x and h prime of x. And we want to determine the derivative f prime of x. If you've studied the product rule and other differentiation rules, then you probably aren't surprised to know that f prime of x is not equal to g prime of x over h prime of x. When faced with a new differentiation problem, one fallback is to always go back to the limit definition. f prime of x equals the limit as delta x goes to zero of f of x plus delta x plus. Nah, I'm tired of the limit definition. Let's see if we can find another way. Instead, let's use one of mathematicians' favorite tricks. Let's reduce this to a previously solved problem. We want to find the relationship among f prime, g prime, and h prime. In the current form, it looks a little challenging. We have f of x equals g of x over h of x. But we can make it look nicer by multiplying through by h of x. When we do this, we get f of x times h of x equals g of x. If I gave you this relationship among f, g, and h, and asked you to tell me how g prime depended on f prime and h prime, would you know what to do? If you are familiar with the product rule, then I hope you would. We've reduced the new quotient problem to the previously solved problem of finding the derivative of a product. The product rule says that f prime of x times h of x plus f of x times h prime of x equals g prime of x. This formula is nice, but it's not exactly what we want. What we want is a formula for f prime of x in terms of g and h and their derivatives. But we can solve this for f prime by subtracting off f times h prime and then dividing by h. When we do this, we get that f prime of x is equal to g prime of x minus f of x times h prime of x all over h of x. We're almost done. This is looking better. There's just one problem though that the right hand side depends on f. If we replace f of x with this definition g of x over h of x, then we get that the derivative is g prime of x minus g of x over h of x times h prime of x all over h of x. This is now a valid formula for the derivative f prime of x in terms of g and h and their derivatives. To make it a little prettier, we can multiply the numerator and denominator by h of x to cancel the fraction in the numerator. When we do this, we get the final formula. f prime of x is equal to h of x times g prime of x minus g of x times h prime of x all over h of x squared. Maybe it still isn't pretty, but that's the way things go. This is the quotient rule for calculating the derivative of a quotient. It gives the derivative of g of x over h of x. It might be hard to remember which term has the minus sign in front of it, but you can keep it straight by thinking of the special case of f of x equals g of x over h, where h is just a constant number. In this case, calculating the derivative is simple. 
f prime of x is just g prime of x over h. This result is consistent with a full formula since h prime is zero given that it's a constant. This special case can help you remember that the term with the g prime of x, i.e. the term where you differentiate the numerator, is the one without the minus sign.